obviously the two penalties in the third were, were costly, but five on five, were you pretty happy with the effort today? Yeah, we just, we ran out of gas. You, you could feel it in the third. They, they started, uh, they had some pressure there earlier. We had a couple of turnovers, which didn't help. And then, you know, the, the penalty we got called for, it. I don't think it's a penalty because I think it's our own stick, which leads to the next one. You know, we're trying to jump by and hit him. Fortunate not to get a four probably on that one, but they got a good power play. They made us pay for that. And then, uh, you know, we were, we were kind of reeling from there. I know your goal was to go out and get a lead in this one. How important was that in, in your ability to, to control things for the first couple periods? Yeah, I thought first half of the game, we we're real sharp, you know, and, and we still we needed more guys tonight to be on their game, and we had, had a few guys that just weren't weren't locked in, and it, it cost us tonight. But um, yeah, we you know you you're, you're thrilled to build the lead because you you need it, especially on the road, and you know and you're you're on your back to back here, so. Like I said, we just ran out of gas and got a little bit sloppy in the cost us. Is Elvis returning to as close to the old Elvis as you've seen? I mean, it's another pretty strong start for him tonight. Yeah, this has been coming. It, this isn't like two in a row. This is yeah. we're we're now, you know, uh, several games and, and dating back quite a way. So this is a real positive sign to watch him uh, play with more confidence. He's got more swagger. He, he's looking much more like himself. I mean, just... Uh, I guess when you look at the bigger picture of, of Elvis, I mean, he's got four more years here. Uh, I mean, he's the guy at this point, right, going forward, as far as we know. Um, how important is it for him to kind of get just back to being himself, like you just mentioned? Well, yeah, it, it's, season. yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, he's he's not happy with how it's gone the, the, the first uh, chunk of the season. So he's like some other – he's trying to find it. And, and you know, he's on a long-term deal. So – you, you, you can't just throw away a year and say, you know, look forward to next year. We still have a lot of games left. And so the fact that he's starting to, to find his groove a little bit again and, and, you know, we have two goalies playing well, which is – that's the scenario I was looking for all year long, right? So this is this is a positive sign for both these guys. This has been a very interesting year for a number of reasons, mainly the injuries as we've talked about, whatever, and it's given you a chance to play different guys in different roles. Mm -hmm. Tonight, uh, three on three, I think it was Crowley, Robinson, and uh, uh, Blanks out there, I believe, yeah. to start. Um, is it like when you're going there for three on three, you're just you're looking at guys who you feel are, are kind of feeling it at that point to put well, them out I, there? Well, you know, if, if for me, when I saw, I, I had a Pretty good feeling he was going to start Kaprizov, <laughs> and uh, you know, coach's instinct there, right? Um, so you know, I just talked to those guys. It just try to take away his time and space, sure. you know. And if if we can allow him not to score, it sets up for my next shift, right? So mm -hmm. I, I thought they did a good job, and and uh, you know, Curls was my guy for this for the faceoff too. So um, yeah, you know, you're, you're those those guys have been giving really good minutes.